Greetings, good humans, and welcome to a brand new tabletop hobby channel, Tabletop Alchemy. I'll explain that title in a bit. First off, my name is Ignatius. Yep, Ignatius. And yeah, it's a cool name, now that I'm not like, you know, seven. Anyway, I'm sure the main question is, what kind of content should you expect from me? Followed by, why bother watching, and maybe who is this old dude and what's he doing here? First and foremost, this is a variety channel within the tabletop hobby space, which is why I've called it tabletop alchemy. You know, alchemy is essentially the mixing of different elements in the hopes that something new emerges. Let me do my hands like that again. Yeah, YouTube. I like Dungeons and Dragons. I like Warhammer. I like skirmish games. I like painting miniatures, crafting terrain, writing adventure content for RPGs, making maps. I like sci-fi fantasy as a genre, from books to movies to art to everything in between. A couple things I dig outside the tabletop hobby are Lego and Minecraft. Hey, who's the geek here? My professional background includes filmmaking, special effects, videography, and photography. I started out in the film industry creating miniatures for movies like Titanic, The Fifth Element. In fact, my very first job was fabricating the front end of the Earth warship for Luc Besson's epic sci-fi adventure flick. And right there, you can see the little canvas lifeboat covers I made for the James Cameron flick. As an indie filmmaker, I wrote a sci-fi horror flick for a friend of mine to direct called The Men Who Fell, which was shot on the original DVX-100 standard definition video camera with an anamorphic lens, no less. For those of you that know, you know. I co-wrote and directed my own feature film called Liesl and the Lorlock, which is a dark fantasy for kids and their grandparents. And it even played on Russian TV for a little while. Then I made the first, uh, let's call it, volume of a, at this point, cheesy, no-budget fantasy action-adventure web series called Freelancers the Series. I'd really like to remake that as a full show with a real budget someday. My dream sequence to direct is a masquerade ball that devolves into a pitched sword fight. All these indie projects were done on a shoestring budget, with the term shoestring being generous. And they're not great by any means but they were an intense amount of work and pretty wonderful to work on. All right, so my background as a tabletop gamer is probably like a lot of you folks out there in my age range. I stumbled into playing D&D at the end of high school and played it through a few years in the army, and then got into Shadowrun and Cyberpunk, and that's when I started painting miniatures and eventually fell into the Warhammer Warp. I played 40K 2nd Edition, Warhammer Fantasy 4th Edition, and uh, Blood Bowl... I think third edition. I had too many armies, too many ideas, etc. Then I got a job in the film industry working in special effects, and that killed my gaming hobby right quick. Working on models in an industrial shop for 60 hours a week for a few years can do that to a person. And then I went off into filmmaking territory and didn't find my way back into the tabletop gaming hobby until a few years ago. I've always loved miniatures for some reason, and I found D&D was alive and thriving. And then Stranger Things hit, and we know what's happened since then. So what can you expect from Tabletop Alchemy? I'll be discussing a variety of tabletop topics related to writing and designing RPG adventures, crafting terrain for skirmish war games and RPG scenarios, painting miniatures and trying out new techniques and tools and stuff like that, discussing fantasy books, movies, series, as well as artists and filmmakers. I might do some product reviews once in a while, maybe conduct an interview or two with other creators or artists, or just share things I find really interesting. And I'll most likely talk about some life philosophies that somehow pop into my head because of and along with all this tabletop stuff. So my goal for the channel is to drop a video every Thursday. And within that release schedule, I plan to have a monthly category structure that includes one D&D or RPG related video, one skirmish game related video, a crafting or painting video, maybe a tutorial type of thing, and a fourth monthly video will be on whatever tabletop hobby thing has caught my interest. Now, I'm fully aware that this is not how one is supposed to engineer a YouTube channel. We're supposed to pick a niche and drill down on that niche until we're burned out or simply don't do anything else. But I know myself enough by now to know how and why I get burned out on things. And it's really because I'm just literally interested in a lot of different aspects of the hobby. I mean, I'm interested in a lot of different things, not just tabletop hobby stuff. So producing content for Tabletop Alchemy is also designed in some ways to help me put a dent in my own pile of opportunity. We'll talk about that in another video. But overall, this channel is dedicated to sharing and discussing our journey. That's right, you and me. Our journey through the tabletop gaming hobby. So there it is. 
Welcome to Tabletop Alchemy. Of course, I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, let them dice roll. See ya.